and significant accomplishments with General Benjamin Aponte Jr., Chief Philippine National Police and Presiding Officer coinciding with the flag ceremony here at the National Headquarters, Philippine National Police. Please all rise for the entrance of cars. And now we might request Colonel Jaime Serena III, Deputy Director of the KMP Champion Service, to deliver the invitation. Almighty and ever living God, as we gather here today beneath the unfurled flag, we come with hearts full of gratitude and reverence. We invoke your presence, wisdom, and blessings upon this solemn ceremony. We raise this flag as a symbol of our unity and shared values. It reminds us of the sacrifices made by those who have gone before us and inspire us to work towards a brighter future for our country and our countrymen. Guide us as we strive to uphold the ideals of service, honor, and justice. Grant us the strength to overcome challenges and the wisdom to make decisions that lead us towards unity, progress, and peace. We ask for your protection to all the PMP personnel, both near and afar. We always stand together in times of need,
extending a helping hand to those who require it. Lord, as a plan reaches its possession, we our aspirations also reach its heights with faith that this flag raising ceremony serve as a reminder of our duty to uphold the principles that the nation's flag represents. Grant our humble prayers as you perpetually guide our journey now and as always. Amen. Amen. The Pablo Lutamana Karapan, so a town of the Philippines, and to his officers' pledge, will be led by the Israeli General Alan Nazar, Director of Highway Patrol. May God continue to guide us and give wisdom to our leaders in pursuit of a better public service. Mabuhay ang Pilipinas at mabuhay ang Pilipinas. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, today's activity would not be completed without giving recognition to the men and women of the Philippine National Police with their significant accounts. We would like to request that one of these two songs in the presentation of all. And to present a award to the Indian General Benjamin Porter the Chief of the National Police, and he will be assisted by the Philippine Command Group, the Philippine and the Philippine Defenders. For having demonstrated efficiency and devoted dedication to duty for the successfully concluded relaunching of the upgrade of the TAP Museum with Mama Tapu Lapu as April 17, 2023. Principal and Chief PAP, the Governor of the Senate, Joseph Victor Edasco, Senate of the Philippines. The TAP Museum was relaunched into a modernized and digitalized museum using a holographic display coinciding with the renewal of icon accreditation and Coming down, Dr. Zendaya is awarded to the police chair. We've been so accountable of police and police 
Thank you very much for having demonstrated exemplary performance and dedication as focal person of the Community Assistance and Development Division of Pika G during the conduct of bloodletting activities from January 1, 2023 to August 30, 2023, which led to the successful donation of 236,500 cubic centimeters of blood and with a total of 430 successful donors. The medalla ng kasanayan 
is presented to Police Corporal McDonald Montanes of Police Community Affairs and Development Group. Thank you very much for demonstrating the utmost sense of commitment and dedication as a police lecturer during the conduct of the Community Safety and Awareness Protection Program of the Community Assistance and Development Division of Tita G in 21 schools and 41 barangays within Central Luzon from January 1, 2023 to August 30, 2023 with topics on crime prevention, anti-illegal drugs, anti-terrorism, Safe Spaces Act and Anti-Bullying Act with a total audience of 10,821. The Medalla ng Kasarnayan is awarded to Patrol Woman Nika Segaya of Police Community Affairs and Development Group. Thank you very much. Again, let us give another round of applause to our awardees and to our presenters, sirs. Please be seated. At this juncture, ladies and gentlemen, to deliver his message, let us give a warm applause to the Chief Philippine National Police, Police General Benjamin Acorda, Jr. Please be seated. Before anything else, uh, let me acknowledge uh, our Acting Deputy Chief for PNP Administration, Police Lieutenant General uh, Rodel Salmonia Cruz. The Acting Deputy Chief for PNP for Operations, uh, Police Lieutenant General Michael Jan Dubia Bok. The officer in charge of the Office of uh, Chief uh, Director of Staff, uh, Police Major General Robert Rodriguez. The Inspector General of Internal Affairs Service, Attorney Arthur Gar Reambolo, sir. I'm uh, really very thankful, sir, uh, for the very uh, supportive command group uh, helping me going around uh, the uh, region. I've learned, sir, that uh, no, uh, I realized, sir, in uh, our going around, mas na appreciate ng mga tao natin sa baba, uh, how we want done, how we want things done sa, sa taas. And uh, as a result, I think it is uh, very much uh, effective in such a way that the Octa Research and uh, the impression of the public is uh, uh, talagang ano, nagre-reflect, nagma-manifest. Even though there are things, there are criticisms uh, na kikita natin uh, coming from the officials, coming from the ambassadors, I've talked with talagang ano, uh, they are telling that the PNP organization is doing a great job and uh, maraming maraming salamat. Of course, kasama na rin tayo dyan sa mga uh, director staff and uh, national support units and even sa mga nasa baba natin. To our gracious host this morning, uh, from the Pita G, uh, Police uh, Brigadier General Lou Evangelista, the director of Pita G, Lou. Of course, the uh, director of uh, Police Community Relations, represented by uh, the deputy director for uh, DBCR, Police Director General Arner Amol, Amol Given. <laughs> to the other members of the Director of Staff, the Directors of the National Support Units, the awardees, other senior officers, Police Commission officers, Police Non Commission officers, and non informed personnel, other PNP personnel who are joining us by Facebook Live 
Sige awardees, isa ang mapagpalang umaga sa ating lahat. On this first Monday of September, we come together for a momentous occasion, not only to answer With deep pride and sincerity, I commend our PNP units and personnel for their dedication and tireless effort throughout the past month. This morning, I am delighted to highlight some remarkable security accomplishments, including the remarkable 6.19 reduction in primary for the month of August 2023. During the Balinese Federal season, our brave men and women in uniform work tirelessly to ensure the smooth and safe return of our students and their schools. The PNP's dedication and vigilance ensured that our children and their families felt secure as they embarked a new pandemic year. Furthermore, as our nation plays host to the FIBA Basketball World Cup 2023, the way our officers have upheld security during both the opening ceremony and the ongoing events is nothing short of remarkable too. This global sports spectacle has placed us in the international spotlights, showing, showcasing our ability to orchestrate large-scale events with precision and professionalism. Congratulations to our security task force who, alongside representatives from various government bodies, have worked hard to ensure safe, the safety and well-being of both our local and international guests. Embodying the warm and hospitality, hospitality for which our nation is developed. Today, we also gather to congratulate and recognize the outstanding achievements of our personnel who have excelled in their duties during the past month. These individuals have gone above and beyond their call of duty, demonstrating exceptional service to our community. To all the awardees, congratulations, and please continue to be the role model and source of inspiration to your colleagues. Maraming maraming salamat. It is important for us to remember that recognition comes with great responsibility. As members of the Philippine National Police, we are entrusted to the continuing safety and security of our fellow citizens. It is our duty to uphold the law, protect the innocent, and ensure justice for all. Then, these ceremonies serve as a reminder of our duties and responsibilities as police officers. Looking ahead, we confront significant challenges in the coming months. The upcoming Barangay and Zambunyan Kapatan Election 2023 demand our full attention. We must ensure a peaceful and orderly electoral process, protecting the rights of every voter and candidate. Let us, not, let us continue to uphold our duty to maintain peace and order prevent election-related violence, and provide a safe environment for our fellow Filipinos to exercise their democratic rights. Additionally, as we enter the fair months, we must remain vigilant and prepared for any potential challenges that may arise, including natural disasters, heightened security concerns, and the onset of the holiday season. Our communities rely on our commitment to their safety and well-being. Thus, let us collectively ensure that we remain well prepared for any eventualities that may arise. Once again, thank you for your service, and may our flag always fly high, symbolizing our bold people and our beloved Philippines. Fellow patriots, Mabuhay ang Philippine National Police. Mabuhay ang servisyo ng nagkakaisa. Thank you. 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 Manatili po tayo na sa kayo ang ating pangkuri ang PNP Lingo ng Pag.
Jews remain standing for the exit of Congress. And that concludes the flag ceremony. To the GPMP, sir, Jan Benjamin of the Junior, thank you very much, sir, for joining us and our PMP command group. Magandang maga po, mabuhay ang Philippine National Police at sama-sama po tayo para sa servisyong nagkakaroon.